welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you stopped by today because today we're going to make another really fun project. Today I'm going to make a baby jackalope. If you don't know what a jackalope is, it's basically a rabbit with antlers. So I'm basically making a baby bunny with some antlers. <laughs> Anyways, let's get started. Okay guys, the first thing we're going to work on for our jackalope is going to be sewing the body. So here are all the different pieces that I drew out for the pattern. I've got the neck, the main body, the little puffy tail, and then over here to the left is going to be the belly piece. So I'm going to draw all of this out on the back of my fabric and I'm going to cut it all out. And then I'm going to show you guys how to put it together. Okay, so all of our pieces are cut out and I'm going to start on the sewing. So the first thing we're going to do is connect the neck to the body of the piece, so I'm just going to sew along this part. And while I'm working on that, I'm going to take the two halves of the tail and I'm going to sew those together. After the tail is sewn, I'm just going to flip it right side out and stuff it a little bit. And then we're going to move on to sewing the legs. These ones are a little short and wide, so I don't have to worry about flipping them right side out and having trouble with that. So I'm just going to sew along the whole length of the leg, the back and the front. And then once all the sewing is done, we can flip that right side out and stuff it. After all the legs are sewn, we're going to work on attaching the belly piece. So I'm going to start where the neck is and I'm going to work all the way down. After the body is sewn, the only sewing I really need to do now is attaching the tail. So I'm going to put the tail into place and I'm going to sew that on real quick. Now we can flip everything right side out and start stuffing the legs and a little bit of the body. Now even though this piece is kind of small, I'm still going to give it a little wire frame so it can stand up. So I've just got a really basic shape right here and I'm just going to wrap these together with another wire. Okay, now we can start on the clay and the first thing I'm going to work on is going to be the antler for the piece. Now most jackalopes have two antlers, but I felt since it was a little baby I could just give it one and make it kind of look like a little unicorn or something. So I just felt like making one for it. So I have a little wire frame for that and I'm going to start covering it in clay and then sculpting the details. Now once the antler is finished, I'm going to bake it in the oven at 275 Fahrenheit for probably 20-25 minutes. That way we can add it to the face and we don't have to worry about breaking it while we're sculpting the rest of the face. Now for the face, I'm just going to take a ball of tin foil and I'm going to cover that in clay. Once I have a shape where I like it, I'm going to add the antler to the piece along with some clay balls for where the eyes are going to go. After that's all placed, we can start adding some eyelids and adding other detail to the face. After finishing the eyes, I realized that I did not have the right shape that I wanted, so I'm going to start adding some more clay to the front of the face. Once I got the shape that I finally wanted, I started adding the nose and the mouth to the piece. This is really simple, it's mainly just line work. Now most of my pieces I like making felt ears for, but because these ears are so tiny and simple, I figured it wouldn't be too bad to make them out of clay. So I'm going to sculpt some little bunny ears real quick. After that, the last thing I need to do is just go over the face and add some fur texture to it. And then we're going to put this in the oven at 275 Fahrenheit for roughly about 45 to 55 minutes. Once the clay has come out of the oven and has cooled to touch, we can start on the painting. 
Now my little rabbit's going to be a nice brown color, so I'm going to try and match that color and do a nice primer over the whole face. I'll probably have to do a few layers of this. After the brown paint is dried, I'm going to take some pink paint and I'm going to go over some areas to add some highlights and we're going to blend that into the brown. Now you'll notice that I waited till the last minute to paint the antler and that's mainly because I was using it to help hold the face and I really didn't want to have to wait for that to dry and to stick my fingers in the paint. So now that my face is finally finished, we're going to start painting the antler. So I'm just going to go over it with a few different tones of browns and then we're going to call it done. Okay, everything is dried and we're ready to put our jackalope finally together. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put the wire frame into the body. I already have the legs stuffed, so I just need to run the wires through the stuffing and then we can attach the head onto the wire frame. Now to attach the head to the wire frame, what I did was I took all the foil out of the back of the head that we used to sculpt on, and I'm going to put some hot glue in there and then we're going to press the wire of the frame into place. Once that's cooled, we can start gluing the fur around the face. And then the last thing we'll need to do is finish stuffing the body and then closing it up. Now I did go over the legs a little bit with a hair trimmer just because they were a little too fluffy and I wanted to get a better shape on them. Okay guys, and that's pretty much how I made a baby jackalope. I really hope you enjoyed today's project. If so, leave me a like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Remember to keep an eye out on my Etsy shop because I have a sale going on until the end of Christmas. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!